year 11 biology and cells is the basis of life. This is video number 14. And we're going to look a little bit here about at the removal of wastes from cells. So there's actually two of the student outcomes that you need to look at that involve removal of wastes. This is the first one, investigating cell requirements, including but not limited to removal of wastes. And there's also another one that's around a cell biochemistry. At this stage, I'm just gonna put both of these together and just talk very generally about wastes, both wastes um, in terms of excretion. And excretion is an important uh, process. But there's also uh, a cellular process that occurs uh, and so I'll cover, try and just very briefly introduce both of those in this video and we'll look at some of these in a bit more detail later on in the course. Uh, excretion then is just the process of removing waste products um, from the body. So there's a number of different biochemical reactions that occur in the body and the products of those, so if we think about uh, all chemical reactions as uh, reactants, going to products, then what we're looking at here is the fact that um, the products that we produce from certain chemical processes uh, sometimes are desirable and sometimes are not. And those products that are not desirable need to be removed from the body. And there's a couple of reasons, really good reasons, why that, that is the case. For multicellular organisms, that occurs at a um, at a system level. So there are a couple of important organs that are part of the excretory system that help to remove some of these processes, uh, some of these products of processes uh, from our bodies. So in the lungs, uh, if you think about the process of respiration, respiration is going to produce carbon dioxide and water, and both of these are actually removed in the lungs. Of course, the lungs isn't the primary organ for uh, water regulation, but you, you'll know if you've breathed on anything that there is water in your breath. And there's a couple of sources of that as well. Um, but one of those is certainly the lungs. The primary um, excretory product of the lungs, of course, is carbon dioxide. And carbon dioxide is a major problem because if it builds up uh, in cells, if it builds up in uh, blood, then it can change the pH. So carbon dioxide reacts with water to produce a weak acid, carbonic acid. And what that does is it changes the pH. And certainly for important chemicals like enzymes, they have an optimum function uh, at different pH levels. So the uh, too much carbon dioxide can be a real problem in that area. The skin is also an excretory organ and it removes water and salts as well. And pr probably the, the primary um, organs of excretion are the kidneys and they are water and salt regulators as well as uh, the source of removal for nitrogen-based uh, waste compounds. So the main components in the urine is urea and uric acid and uh, protein digestion releases a lot of nitrogen-based compounds and we need to get rid of these because they are toxic in our bodies. And so therefore, um, the urine is the place where that occurs and the kidneys are filtering huge amounts of blood uh, continuously in order to remove that. But they have an extra function there which involves the regulation of both uh, water and salt levels in the body and they're under hormonal control. Uh, that's a more complex process and one that we might look at a little bit later in the course. So in cells, we have a lot of different unwanted substances that need to be expelled. And when we're looking at a multicellular organism, we can look at the organ systems that are responsible for that. But at the cell level, we're talking about lysosomes. We're talking about particular structures, membrane-bound structures within the cell that are actually responsible for digesting uh, these waste products of chemical processes. So this would include waters and salts. It would include nitrogen-based compounds that we've already talked about. It would also include things like hydrogen ions, just like carbonic uh, acid is produced by excess carbon dioxide. Also, the presence of hydrogen ions can also change the pH uh, of the cell. And in fact, an increase in hydrogen ions will increase the pH or 
uh, decrease the pH and increase the acidity uh, of the cell and that can impact on some of the chemical reactions that occur. And any foreign substances that get inside the cell hopefully are also going to be identified and broken down in this sort of process of breakdown by lysosomes. So we've briefly looked previously at the role of lysosomes and this gives you a little bit of an idea of the process of endocytosis which can bring particles in and then of course exocytosis which is the expulsion of those particular particles that are no longer necessary or no longer important uh, inside of the cell. Lysosomes are everywhere, they're small vesicles and they have digestive enzymes. They float around the cytosol, they move through the cytoplasm, and often they will combine with other vesicles, as you can see here, a little combination that, as they link together, will uh, enable the release of the digestive enzymes from the lysosome uh, into that food particle, which will just break it down uh, and release those particles through exocytosis. I think this is the main general detail that you will need at this stage for looking at waste products. As I say, there are a couple of important organ systems that are involved in excretion in multicellular organisms. But as long as you understand the role of the lysosome and the importance that it plays in breaking down unwanted material in the cell, I think that's a pretty good place to start. Thanks for watching.